What's good, people? I swear, I'm so tired of these YouTube channels, these fake-ass bloggers sitting here reporting all this fake news, bro. Fake news, really, really, this whole week, fake news has been pissing me off, okay? The most recent one I seen was Shoddy stole $2.2 million from 6 9 How stupid does that sound? I'm going to give y'all all the details, so make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button as well. Think about it, $2.2 million. How could somebody steal $2.2 million? $2.2 million. Do you really think Shadi was able to steal $2.2 million that was destined for 6 ix bank account? Think about this. Let me start by saying this. Shadi is not 6 ix manager, quote unquote, okay? 6 9 is signed to 10,000 projects, okay? The dude who owns 10,000 projects is the son of some rich-ass exec, okay? So they know how to do business. The money is not going to shoddy. The money is not going to 6 9 The money is going to go to 10,000 fucking projects, okay? Now, MTA says they wired... OK, they sent some money for these shows. Somehow the money ended up in six nines account. And how do we know this? Because in the court. They disclosed how much money everybody had in their account. When MTA heard about this, MTA immediately released some information and said, hey, eight hundred and sixty thousand of that money is actually the money that we want back because six nine is not going to be able to do these concerts. OK. So while y'all sitting here spreading this fake news saying that Shadi stole two point two million dollars, impossible. OK, ten thousand projects is cutting the checks here, not a blood who just came out of prison a couple years ago. Now, because six nine is in jail and he probably won't get out anytime soon. Chances are they're going to want that money back. Matter of fact, they want the money back. They want $860,000 back because 6 ix 9 is not going to be able to do none of these fucking shows. Let me read something that I read. That it just pissed me off. Let me read this to you real quick, all right? 6 ix former manager, Shadi, is accused of fleecing the Brooklyn rapper for $2.2 million in show money. This came to light after the standard financial disclosure statement in court this week after co-defendants in federal cases, Mel Murder Jones, who is described by police as the head of the nine tray. They were all claimed to be broke and couldn't afford a lawyer. Shadi admitted that he had 60000 in a checking account, but believed that he pocketed $2.2 million from a show Takashi did. The source revealed that a promoter reached out to Takashi directly following a show and told him that he should have gotten two point five. million. However, Shadi reportedly gave Takashi 300000 They believe Shadi kept the money and kept the information away from 6 9 which is the reason why 6 9 fired everybody. Number one, Y'all math is fucked up. Worse, you say 2.2, then you say 2.5, all right? Number three, again, why the fuck would MTA wire shoddy $2.2 fucking million dollars? Y'all cannot be believing these sites, y'all. Do your own research, okay? Hip-hop classic, stop it. Dom is live, stop it. I'm tired, I'm tired. I, I'm going I'm to I'm be honest with y'all. If y'all want real deal, unbiased information, check academics, okay? Check my page. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. I'm not here to give y'all bullshit news. I'm giving y'all real news that I researched, that I made sure is real. That's why I ain't jump out and just, you feel me, start jumping and going with the trend. These, these bloggers are spreading fake false news because they want views. I'm not here for that. All right. Now hit the comment section with your opinion. Do y'all really think Shadi would be able to steal two point two million dollars from six nine? Huh. It's your boy. I am Super Sean. This is Famous Before the Fame podcast. Peace.